Allow yourself to grow. Don't limit yourself to last year's failures. Your diet that you're trying to start for 2023 is probably gonna fail. And so there's probably no need trying anyway, right? Wrong, wrong. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why. Because I'm so tired of negative Nancy's discouraging people with all of this, with all of this haterade. Haterade, a drink that haters drink to help them hate, not to be confused with Gatorade. Take your haterade and sip it by yourself and leave my internet friends alone. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why the fact that you failed a million times before is not a reason not to try again. It's not, I'm sorry, I will never have it. If you ever need a dose of optimism and positivity, come to this channel because I refuse, I absolutely refuse to buy that, to buy this, negative like oh things fail anyway yet babies learning to walk fall like the first hundred times you don't say to a kid like mm, you're probably just never gonna walk don't no stop trying stop trying because you fell you fell every single time last week when you tried and now you're making a fool of yourself so stop trying no we wouldn't do that we'd be like yeah that's how they learn they fall they readjust their muscles get a bit stronger the trying muscles get a bit stronger, and I don't know why I winked, but you know, they learn, they learn from that failure and they get better, they get stronger each time. And so in this video, I'm gonna chat to you about, yeah, sure, your previous attempts at being healthy and fit might have failed, but that doesn't have to define your future. You can achieve your goals. And I hate that that's like some crazy optimistic thing to say. Like you can achieve your goals, you can, have a successful diet where you keep the weight on long-term or keep the weight off long-term. You can. People have done it before and they weren't magicians. It, it's not limited to Harry Potter's, mate. Like they're just normal humans who kept trying and who didn't quit the first time, myself included. For me, I love New Year's Eve and I love the hope and the optimism that comes with it. And then for some reason, it's now trendy to like try and dash people's hopes and aspirations by saying, no, it's not a new, it's not a new you really, is it? No, it's not you're still gonna be rubbish you're probably still gonna be rubbish. like okay cool did that make you feel smart did that make you feel really happy and smart that you said that because where does that leave us one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to team project is when someone comes to a situation and points out everything that's wrong but brings no solution so they're like oh this is wrong that is wrong this is wrong and I'm like cool thank you for pointing out the obvious any one of us could have done that do you have a solution so my rule is if you're not bringing a solution don't point out a problem so if you're coming up to people saying your diet's gonna fail new year's diets fails and you have no solution boom, 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 stop not in my presence thank you very much it's a positive atmosphere because if, if we're gonna do one thing we may as well feel good if we're gonna fail anyway, we may as well feel good. Welcome to the positive side of YouTube where it's actually not that deep if you failed a million diets, it happens. It's really normal. It's like a baby learning to walk. Finding a good healthy food balance of mindset and life and all the unique things that apply to you, it takes time and you're gonna fail and mess up a million times, but that doesn't mean that you never try again or that all diets are bad. No, maybe just the fad diet that you tried was bad and you can try a new good one. Some diets are actually really good. For example, if you're celiac, if you have celiac disease, you should go gluten-free. It could save your life. That's a good diet. Not all diets are bad. Failing at achieving your goals doesn't make you a failure. It means that you just found one way that doesn't work. We have to have hope in life. What is the point if there is no hope? What are we doing here, okay? We have to have hope that life is gonna get better because it will. We are humans and the beautiful thing about us is that we were created to grow. We can grow, we can change, we can learn new things. We're not leopards, we can change our spots. And so if you've had really bad habits, if you had a really bad year, 2023, does not have to look like 2022. And so please be encouraged, please dare to have hope. I think that a lot of the time, the reason that we don't wanna hope for better is because we're so afraid. We're so afraid of being disappointed again, because it hurts, right? When you hope for something and you don't get it and you feel disappointed. 
But I'm telling you to be brave, be strong, and dare to hope again. Dare to believe in yourself that you are capable of figuring this out because you are. But the only person who can bring that to be, the only person who can show the world that you are is you. And it starts with believing, with hoping that this time things will be different and you will see a result. And then you can be the one grabbing out your camera and telling people, hey, I was gonna quit. I failed my New Year's resolutions a million times in a row, but then I decided I'm gonna keep trying. And here I am because I didn't quit. The only time you fail is when you quit. If I could recommend a book to you, it would be Failing Forward. I'll put the title in somewhere. It is such a good book. So, so good, I love it. And I'll be doing a video on my favorite books of 2022 soon. So subscribe if you want to know them. Or maybe I'll do a video talking about the books I'm gonna be reading next year. Either way, Failing Forward is such a good book. It talks about how failure is viewed so badly by so many people, myself included in the past. And we want to avoid it, but actually we have to fail in order to succeed. That's how we learn. If we were only able to do things that we were perfect at the first time, there would be no point. What would be the point? You'd just be born and then that's it, right? No, you have to fail forward. You have to make mistakes and improve. And in this video, I'm here to tell you that just because all your other diets failed does not mean that this one has to too. And the reason why, I'll get into in these next steps. Step one, use last year's failures as a lesson. Use the failure of 2022, reflect on it and make a change. It's a common saying, the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same thing, expecting a different result. So look back on 2022. How did you try to achieve your goals? Did you do a fad diet that told you you could lose 20 pounds in two weeks? I've said it before, I'll say it again. You can't change 20 years of living in two weeks. It takes time. It's okay, I've done them before. We've all been there. I know what it's like. Don't worry, don't beat yourself up but just know that it's not the way to go. You need a sustainable long-term plan and it will take time, but that's okay. It's the only route, so you may as well get on board the right train now. Stop trying to cut corners. The corners cannot be cut. Where did you fail and why did you fail? And make a change. The key here is making a change. So for example, one of my goals is to be able to do the splits really well this year. Last year, I didn't succeed with that because I didn't stretch enough. And the reason I didn't stretch enough is because I made the pre -rec for me stretching to be that I have done a workout and I'm sat down in a workout environment stretching intentionally 30 minutes to an hour. That's the prerequisite that I had in my mind of how I would stretch. And that was too hard because I didn't have that time. I didn't make that time. It wasn't high enough on my priority list for me to make that time to be stretching for 30 minutes to an hour a day. And so what that meant was I just didn't stretch. How am I gonna change that going into 2023 so that I do achieve my goal of being able to do the splits? I'm gonna stretch when I'm doing my makeup. I'm gonna stretch when I'm doing my quiet time. I'm gonna stretch when I'm watching Netflix, I will be stretching whenever I'm doing something that doesn't require uh, my body to be involved, that I can sit down to do in a place where I'm free, so at home, where I have that freedom to sit in a stretched position. And that will enable me to stretch every single day and meet my goals. Do I know that it's gonna work? Am I like, oh my gosh, this is definitely gonna work. I'm gonna be doing the splits by July. Not necessarily, but I hope so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this and if it needs tweaking along the way, if some bits don't work, then I'll reflect again, I'll adjust and I'll try again. And we get into that cycle. You try, you fail, you adjust and you repeat. And it's a cycle because it keeps happening. It keeps, you keep going around and each time you get a little better, you get a little closer. You learn new ways that don't work so that you can hone in on the one way that does. Another example for me in terms of reflecting on my failures would be that last year I did not eat very healthy. I ate a lot of food, a lot of good food, but a lot more food than I would have planned. One of the reasons for this was because my work gave me free food. Can you imagine you guys, I'm such a sucker for free food. I love food. So of course I stopped meal prepping and just ate the free food. And I was like, well, I'm saving money. Meanwhile, I was like full to the brim every single day at work. and. That's really just not my goal. As much as I appreciate and love that my work does that, at the moment I have to recognize that I don't have the self-control to order the healthy option on the menu. I will always go for starter main dessert with a side of fries. <laughs> 
I've learned that now, I know that now. So I'll be going back to meal prepping in 2023. I'll be making that adjustment because I want to succeed. I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm always gonna overeat. It's just who I am. No, it's not who I am. It's a decision I made. It's a decision a previous version of me made. We're constantly growing. Our cells are renewing. We're learning new things. Allow yourself to grow. Don't limit yourself to last year's failures. Step two is to schedule motivation. Watch videos, read books, listen to podcasts that encourage you not the ones that discourage you. I find it wild that I even have to say this, but there are some times where I'll be listening to something that's supposed to be informative and I'm like, this is massively discouraging. All this makes me wanna do is crawl up into a ball and hate myself even more. Don't listen to those things and watch those things. Be really intentional about what you allow into you. All the things that are around you, we tend to take on their form in some way. So if you're constantly listening to negativity, please stop. If you're constantly listening to voices that say you will never change, you will always be the same with a limited mindset, a non-growth mindset, stop that and replace them with growth mindset information. Schedule motivation. Watch films that inspire you and that make you feel good like you can take on the world. Watch videos of people telling their stories about how they overcame the greatest odds to achieve their goals. I listen to audiobooks and podcasts like There's No Tomorrow. Anytime I'm doing something like making a coffee, I'll be listening to a podcast, Mindset Mental, one of my favorite podcasts. I find it so encouraging. I love listening to audiobooks, things that lift you up, things that make you feel like anything is possible, not things that drag you down. It's one of the best ways actually to change. When people say change is hard, I think change can be made really a whole lot easier when you change your environment. So for example, I remember once I was addicted to watching Netflix. It was all I watched. I'd go to my room, I'd watch a load of Netflix. And it felt like I couldn't stop. It was doing the pandemonium when I was like, I, I really felt like I had no self-control. And then I just moved the TV out of my room. <laughs> Literally all I did was move the TV out of my room. Suddenly it wasn't an option and I wasn't addicted to Netflix anymore. It sounds silly and it sounds so little. Changing your environment can make a huge change in your behavior. For example, if I was to pick you up and drop you off in the Sahara Desert with no phone and no internet connection, suddenly you wouldn't be addicted to TikTok because you're not in the environment where you can be addicted to TikTok. So change your environment by changing what you listen to and what you hear and you will find that different fruit starts to grow, different plants start to grow within your soul. Instead of negativity and being disheartened and sad, you can be uplifted and hopeful and full of faith and belief that you can do the things that you want to do. Because you can, okay? You can. You're capable. No one gets to predict your story. I find it so annoying when people say, oh, you're gonna fail because, <laughs> baby, you don't know me. You don't know me. You've never, none of us have ever been in 2023 yet. It's still to come. And the pen for your life is in your hands. You're the one who gets to write that story. And the final step is to have patience. Patience is a virtue. Literally one of my least favorite sayings growing up because I was always super impatient and I would always want to find a way to make things happen now, yesterday, last week. And part of me still feels that way, but I'm learning that actually being able to be patient is a super skill because you can't trick nature. As I said, you can't change 20 years of a body in two weeks of dieting. Things take time to change and that's a good thing. It's the way nature works. Being able to carry on putting in the work, even when you're not seeing results, is really important. It's really key. And a lot of the reason why a lot of us fail and have failed in our previous attempts is because we're not patient. We get to a point where we haven't seen as much as we want to see or as many results as we want to see. And so we stop trying. And that's where failure comes in. It's when you stop trying. It's not by a setback, it's not by a misstep, it's when you stop trying. Have patience with yourself, have patience with the process, have patience with seeing the results. The only thing I want you to focus on is on trying, trying each and every step of the way. If you come across failure, see it as an opportunity to learn, like, okay, that didn't work, why not? What can I change to make it work in the future? Try and make things as easy as possible. For example, if the gym is too far away from you, find a home workout plan that you can do. Do my my YouTube videos online for free. But no matter how easy you make it, it's always gonna be hard. Know that there are gonna be times where you want to quit so badly, 
but be patient. Keep showing up for yourself. A huge part of self-love is being willing to show up for yourself time and time again. Please keep showing up for yourself with love, patience, hope, and positivity. You are so, so worth it. And that's all I got for you for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your kindness. Please leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts on today's video. I'm excited for 2023. I think it's gonna be a really good year. I trust God. I will be applying these tips, by the way, for my own life. And I'm really excited for you guys to see the results with me. So have a wonderful day. Happy New Year. I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>